Chancletas off. Toned legs on. <laughs> hi, babies. Hi. Oh, hold on. I am back with another week long challenge. Basically, I eat the same brand of food for a week and I can only eat that brand of food. Nothing else. So last challenge, breakfast, lunch, and dinner was all Subway. But this challenge might be a little more difficult, y'all. I'm gonna be eating only Stouffer's frozen meals for a week. I chose Stouffer's because they have such a wide variety of foods to eat. They have like so many different meals. I used to eat it all the time, but y'all, I haven't had it in like years besides like a few taste tests here and there. So I'm kind of pumped. Um, it doesn't seem as scary as like lean cuisine, which is like really tiny portion, super low calorie. This is more like normal meals, but still frozen. So I'm still kind of scared because lean cuisine made me feel like trash. Like I was foggy in my brain. I wasn't getting enough calories into my body or enough nutrition. I just felt literally like crap. So I'm hoping Stouffer's makes me feel a little less groggy and gross. You know, I hope it's like, I just feel normal. That that would be great. <laughs> so I know Stouffer's is not like a weight loss brand, um, but I still am going to weigh myself at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week, just to see if it made me lose weight or gain weight. It's just a little fun part of the experiment, right? I actually weighed myself today after I took a huge feasty in the toilet. And I'm currently 160.4. Now y'all know I am maintaining my weight after a long weight loss. 160 is my ideal weight. I try to stay around that. Currently I'm right on point. Um, so we'll see what this food does to my weight. And of course, y'all know I am a food critiquing horse. I will be critiquing every single meal, letting y'all know how good it is, how bad it is, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So it's basically a week long taste test of literally all their meals. Now, of course, here are my disclaimers that I have to say before I start this. Do not try this at home. I don't know how this affects the body. I'm not a nutritionist, so don't try this at home. This is my own experiment and I'm not telling anyone to do anything. Second of all, this is not sponsored by Stoke at all and last disclaimer I love Stouffer's I would never try to harm them in any way so all this is just my opinion my experiment and it does not reflect the brand in any way shape or form okay thank you so y'all I already bought my food y'all know I'm a responsible prepared mother but I'm also a white trash slut well actually halfway I'm also half Cuban trash <laughs> I bought all 21 meals already there in the freezer they were on sale actually four for ten so I was like yes bitch I pay for legit all my videos, so I need some deals. <laughs> so let's go to my kitchen and let's take a look at every single meal I got. And by the way, guys, it's almost 11 and I have not had breakfast because I've been waiting for this challenge to start. So right after I show y'all all my meals, I'm gonna eat my first meal. Welcome to my kitchen. I know you guys have never been here before. This is my stainless steel fridge, which is covered in grease and fingerprints because I've never cleaned it in my life. Okay, Ugh. let's get all these meals out. Y'all excited? Ooh, some more <laughs> uh, and more. Okay, so this is my full week of food right here on the counter. Let's take a closer look. Hi, how are ya? Okay, so we got a corn souffle, which I guess is almost like cornbread, but like softer and more pudding-ish. I love any kind of cornbread, so I'm ready for that. That sounds actually so good. You know what? I need my, my chair. One second. Yes. Oh. Yo, is that big or not? I think it's really small, right? I love this one. <gasps> Sorry guys, that testosterone jumped out. Then I got some rigatoni with chicken and pesto. I remember eating this years ago and I think I loved it. It looks like a nice, simple Italiano pasta. Then I got this cheddar potato bake. It looks kind of like a potato casserole. Then we got the iconic macaroni and cheese by Stouffer's. I think everyone's had this at least once in their lives. I mean, you know, people that have Stouffer's in their country, you get me? Oh, y'all there celebrating 60 years. How has this not expired in 60 years? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, then I got their lasagna with meat sauce. I got the small one because the bigger one was massive and like legit so heavy. I also got their classic fried chicken, y'all. When I was a teenager, I would eat this all the time at my parents' house, like legit all the time. We were a very simple family. We lived off of frozen food basically. So <laughs> this was my favorite. It has mashed potatoes and gravy. It does say new and improved recipe, creamier mashed potatoes. So I hope they're just as good as they used to be, if not better. Then I got this classic Salisbury steak that also comes with the iconic mac and cheese. In case you don't know, Salisbury steak is like basically 
a ground beef patty that has like onion flavors in it, but you eat it like a steak. So it's like a bunless burger that you eat with a fork. <laughs> then I got this classic chicken parmesan. I love chicken parmesan. Then I got this simple fettuccine alfredo, turkey tetrazzini. Now at first I was like, this looks disgusting. I'm not gonna get it. It has mushrooms in it and like tons of breadcrumbs. I don't know, it just looks icky. But then I ran out of options. Like I literally got like every meal they had in my store. So I was like, okay, let me just get this. You never know, maybe it will be great. Maybe I'll love it. Of course, I had to get spaghetti with meatballs, a classic. Spaghetti with meat sauce. Let's see which spaghetti is better, girl. Now, these I'm excited for. Um, I have had these years ago. Basically, it's pizza on French bread. And um, each of them do come with two servings. I can't eat this whole box. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. That's just a ton of food that I don't need. And so these two boxes count as four meals. These are pepperoni french breads, and these are deluxe french breads. I didn't know they had mushrooms because it doesn't look like they do, but apparently they do. <laughs> Sausage, pepperoni, mushrooms, red and green peppers, and onions. So I'll just have to pick those off, that's fine. And then we got um, this vegetable lasagna. I think I did have this in my big lasagna taste test, and I think I loved it. I'm not sure though, but I am excited to try it. It's very heavy for such a small box, very heavy. I got the Swedish meatballs, a classic. It's like a creamy meatball sauce. Giant testicles um, right on top of it, if you sit on it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, I'm so hungry, guys. Ooh! Then we got this meatloaf with mashed potatoes. We got baked chicken with mashed potatoes. So it's like the fried chicken meal, but just not fried. It's baked and it has no breading on it. So I'm like, ooh. Sounds kind of icky, but I'm gonna try it, of course. And then I got the three cheese ravioli. And then last but not least, the roast turkey meal. It's like a little Thanksgiving dinner. So those are all my meals, guys. I'm so excited for this week. Hopefully it's fun and not torturous. I'll keep y'all updated on how I feel and all that. I'm gonna eat my first meal right now. I think I'm gonna go with a French bread pizza. This is the pepperoni kind. Um, one French bread piece is 400 calories, 20 grams of fat, whoa. 950 milligrams of sodium, 40 carbs, and 15 grams of protein, and four grams of sugar. Wow, that is a lot of sodium and fat. Well, might as well start with a bang, right? Remember, this is not a weight loss brand, so I'm not gonna judge it like it is, you know? Oh, we have to cook this in the oven? Oh my God. Oh. Y'all, I'm too hungry right now. I'm gonna have this one later on. I'm so hungry, I need something right now. So I need something else. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have the vegetable lasagna for breakfast. <laughs> it can be cooked in the microwave, thank God. So it's 400 calories for the whole thing, 19 grams of fat, seven, 10 milligrams of sodium, 41 carbs, six grams of sugar, 17 grams of protein. I'm gonna go cook it and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the vegetable lasagna all done. It looks super melty and super delicious. I'm ready for it. By the way, it smells so good. How do I, how do I do this? Oh, look inside. It's very hot. Mmm. When I chew pasta, my teeth get really loud, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, that is legit. So delicious. It honestly just tastes like Alfredo lasagna. Um, the veggies are like very simple veggies, not like zucchini and squash and disgusting things like that. It's like spinach and carrots and just like very simple things, which is so much better than like a veggie that takes over with texture and flavor. No, this is legit delicious. Mm. I'm gonna go eat this and I'll see y'all at lunch in a few hours. So it's lunchtime. Um, it's like three because I ate breakfast at like 11 something and it was honestly super filling like way more than like a lean cuisine It was like heavy. So we love that for me. Um, but I'm finally eating lunch now I'm gonna have the classic fried chicken, which I used to have a lot like I said It's 390 calories 19 grams of fat a thousand fifty milligrams of sodium <laughs> That's a lot! 31 grams of carbs three grams of sugar 23 grams and protein. All these frozen meals seem to have a lot of sodium. I think it's just how most frozen food is. I already cooked it. It smells really, really good. It looks good. Uh, the potatoes look very soupy because they're just kind of mixed with the gravy, but we'll try that first. Mmm. So the potatoes really don't have flavor and they're super super liquidy, but the good news is the gravy tastes delicious. It's not like KFC gravy, but it's still good brown gravy. Now let's try the chicken. Huh? I remember this chicken so good. Okay, so this is the inside of the chicken. It looks like a processed chicken patty, but it looks like a good processed chicken patty. So let's try it. 
Mm. Just like I remember. Oh my. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a giant chicken nugget <laughs> covered in gravy. Just like exactly. But like a good chicken nugget. Like a super white meat one. My first two meals have snatched me. Stouffer's snapped. And I hope the rest of the week is just good. I'll keep you up there. See you at dinner. Is it coming? Is it going? Yes. For real? Is it going? For real. It is. For real. You keep messing with me. I don't know if it's going or not. You're pissing me off. Oh, oh. It's dinner time on day one and I'm uh, having... You fart. So. I'm the only one that can burp in this house. You're the gassy one, the farty one, the burpy one, the wow. diarrhea one. Wow, you can stop praising me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the three cheese ravioli. It looks great on the cover, right? But in real life, honestly, it looks so good. It looks like a dry chancleta. No, it looks like trash. It looks really dry. Um, the sauce is not sticking at all. Lady Gaga would be insulted because she's Italiana. <laughs> <laughs> Is she? I'm Italian. Is she? Yeah, she is. She always talks about I'm Italian, just like how I talk about how I'm Cuban. So, so she's not on your net. Anyway, okay. back to the food. Shut your mouth. It's 360 calories, 11 grams of fat, which is a lot lower. A lot lower than my last two meals. So let's cut one of these open. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Honestly? It looks good now that exactly. I opened it. Now that I opened it, I'm like, okay, now I'm hungry. You choose so gross. <laughs> it's only when I eat pasta. Are you, it's really loud. Do you eat pasta every time you eat? Oh. <laughs> You're insulting me and I will not have this on my channel. Is this your channel? No. Is this all 100 tomato? I don't think so. Well, this is... It's Tamiya. Not really. Tomato. Not really. It doesn't <laughs> even belong to you. It's YouTube, actually. That's too bad. <laughs> I'm not even adding that because that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not even For your sake. <laughs> You're gonna leave it here. I love you. Okay, let's try this. Is beef. that dog food? It's beef. It was, it's a little bit weird. It smells really good. Honestly, it tastes like beef. But it's a Bolognese meat sauce. Oh my god, I actually love the meat. Wow. Oh I'm actually god. loving this meal. Mmm. By the way, I don't feel that foggy. I did feel a little kind of like tired earlier, but I don't feel that foggy today. So, so far so good. See y'all on day two. Oh, good morning. It is day two. So I woke up and I could not take a caquita. And I'm hoping that the caquita will come soon. I will keep y'all updated. But usually, like I always say, I take a caca every morning. We shall see, though, um, how my bowels go. I definitely felt a little foggy last night, but not nearly as much as with the Lean Cuisines. Um, I felt a lot fuller last night, too. It's a lot less torturous, and the food so far is a lot better. So I am ready to start day two. I just cooked my corn souffle. It looks very good. It looks like a corn pudding type thing. There's a little bit of my raviolis from last night, which snatched me. They were so good. So it says, a simple recipe of corn baked with skim milk and eggs. Very simple. The whole thing is 410 calories, 13 grams of fat, 1,260 milligrams of sodium. Oh my God. It is two servings, but I'm eat the whole thing, of course. That's so much sodium. Lord help me. I'm gonna drink so much water after this. Let's try it. Okay. It doesn't really taste like cornbread. It's missing that sweetness. It's just more like a bready, doughy corn. I don't dislike it. I'm just not snatched. I thought that'd be snatched. It has potential to be a lot better. I'm gonna go finish this. I'll see y'all at lunch. It's lunch time. Ah! I've been a little lazy this morning. I have to edit a video that I filmed two days ago, <laughs> but I've been watching The Runaways on Disney Plus. Y'all know I'm an MCU stan, but I've never gotten into the non-canon MCU shows. This is the first one that I actually like, and it's really, really good. Not sponsored at all. Just telling y'all about my interests. I'm having the rigatoni with chicken and basil. Rigatoni pasta with roasted white meat chicken dust in a basil basil sauce. It's 410 calories. 17 grams of fat, 800 milligrams of sodium, 40 grams of carbs, 2 grams of sugar, 24 grams of protein. Let's eat. Let me just say it smells delicious. Um, the chicken looks questionable though, but it really does smell good. So let's first try the pasta. Mmm, mmm, great seasoning, great flavor. 
delicious. Okay, let's try the chicken. Oh. Oh my god, I'm not eating the chicken. I'm not eating the chicken. That's the first thing from Silver's that I really have not liked. The chicken, wow. It's very um, rubbery, very much like lean cuisine chicken, but I think it might be even worse. It just tastes really processed in my opinion and really not good. Now, thank God most of this meal is pasta, so I'm just gonna eat the pasta and leave the chicken behind. See y'all dinner. It's dinner time. I spent the whole day editing um, and I'm finally ready to eat. I'm so hungry. I am having the French bread pizza. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I haven't had this in years. So I did bake it. The AC just turned on and my washing machine is on, so I'm sorry if there's loud noise. I did bake it, so it looks all nice and crispy. Um, I think that I told y'all all the nutritional facts yesterday when I almost ate it. <laughs> just rewind if you wanna know about them. The cheese doesn't look melted, but it is. It just, it's not a very melty kind of cheese, I guess. Mmm, bitch. Oh, oh my God, that's so good. Literally picture really good like garlic bread, like crunchy garlic bread with pizza on top of it. That's what it tastes like. Mm. By the way, I'm feeling really tired today, but I don't know if that's just lack of sleep or if it's because of the food. <laughs> oh, and I did take a poop. I caquita that right after lunch. It like pushed it out, girl. So it's day three. And last night I did feel a bit more foggy than the night before, but honestly nothing too bad. For breakfast, I'm having the meatloaf. <laughs> what a breakfast option. 350 calories, 17 grams of fat, 900 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbs, 22 grams of protein, six grams of sugar. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look bad. The shape of the meatloaf for some reason is a little off-putting. It's just so skinny. I mean, it looks pretty legit, right? Oh, it's dripping. Let's try it. Mmm. Wow. I actually like it. It doesn't taste homemade, but it does taste like a little bit like an oniony burger. It's actually quite good. It has the perfect amount of flavor, not too salty, not too unsalty. Very nice. Now let's try these mashed potatoes. Mmm. They're okay. They need salt. Made some sour cream, made some pepper. But for frozen mashed potatoes, they're not bad. I've had a lot, a lot worse. So this is a pretty good meal. I'm gonna go enjoy it. It is lunchtime. That meatloaf one was good, but not that filling. So I am having the iconic, iconic macaroni and cheese from 60 years ago. The whole container is 500 calories. It's actually good. I need them calories, girl. 24 grams of fat, 1,220 milligrams of sodium, 50 grams of carbs, five grams of sugar, 21 grams of protein. Truly iconic. You hear that? Oh yeah. That's what good mac and cheese sounds like. Let's take a bite. Uh -huh. So far, one of Stouffer's best. I used to eat this all the time. It's so good. It just has that sharp, signature Stouffer's mac and cheese flavor. I'm going to eat this. Hello, baby, put the camera up. It is. Okay, so it's dinner time. I'm feeling tired, a little foggy, but nothing crazy. So I'm still kind of enjoying this challenge. Everything's been great. I'm having the she game parmesan. Fresh from Lady Gaga's anus. <laughs> I made funny. myself laugh. That was only funny for yourself. Because <laughs> she's so Italian, she shits chicken by my mouth. <laughs> uh, can I say something? I mean, I'm Cuban. Rice and beans comes out of this hole. Didn't you say that Lady Gaga joke yesterday? It's gonna get kind of old in the what? video. I say it all the time. It never gets old to me. You do? Yeah. So it's 470 <laughs> calories, 17 grams of fat, 940 milligrams of sodium. Ooh, I'm so salty. filled with sodium. I feel like a salt cave. Does salt come from caves? It comes from the ocean, baby. No, it does not. Um, uh, yeah. The ocean's salty, but salt <laughs> comes from the caves. I'm no, sorry, I'm guys. He was homeschooler. <laughs> homeschool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you can't even pronounce homeschool. At least I speak two languages. Uh, oh. You only speak English and gay. 
Okay. <laughs> you do two, bitch. <laughs> I tell you no three. Yeah. I'm gonna taste this finally. Let's first try the pasta. What are we seeing? This is some um, marinara sauce on some damn noodles. What is that dead thing? That is a chicken parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> it is dead. It's a dead chicken. Mm, that looks so good the way you bite into it. Mm -hmm. It's really hot. Mm. It's good. But I think it's just cold. Mm. Don't touch my coke. I'm thirsty. I have so much sodium. Um, <laughs> I will say that the that the um, sauce is a bit sweet for me. It's good enough. I and mean, I had this before, like a long time ago, but I don't remember how it tastes. Oh, that white. This is chicken parmesan, white tip meat, fresh from the area. What? That's probably good. Mm. That good? Yeah. Mm. You want to buy? Sorry, I only eat healthy things. This is healthy enough. <laughs> no, I only eat from the produce area. No, I would have vegan. I'm from LA. Mm. So the breading is great. I like it when um breading gets a little bit soggy. It's like kind of appetizing to me. I don't know why. Very good. Not oily tasting. And the chicken inside tastes like a big chicken nugget once again. I love it. Okay, so it's breakfast time and I'm gonna have this roasted turkey. Tater white meat turkey. Basically, it's turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Um, and stuffing, actually. So it's a lot of things going on. This is what it looks like. Um, I hate celery, but thankfully there's only one piece, I think. So I'll just avoid that little bitch. There's the turkey. It looks very good. We have stuffing around here. The potatoes. Let's eat it. Let's first try the stuffing. Stuffing's always like the least favorite part of my meal. I don't know why. It's just meh. Let's see if this one's good. It's not bad. Mmm. It's actually good. The gravy makes the stuffing taste not so stuffing-ish. Like some stuffing is too strong. Mashed potatoes. Is that good? Pretty good, still for mashed potatoes. Now let's try the turkey. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little jelly-ish. Definitely not as bad as their chicken, which is very rubbery. It's pretty good turkey, but it's just a little jelly-ish. It could be better. I'm gonna finish breakfast. I'll see y'all at lunch. So it's lunchtime, and I'm gonna have the spaghetti with meat sauce. Uh, the meatballs version <laughs> is in the freezer. I'm gonna have that a different day. I wanted to try the meat sauce before the meatballs because this is more of the classic version, and then the meatballs are more like special, you know, so. It is 410 calories, 13 grams of fat, 640 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot less than some of the other meals. That's like almost half. For some of them. 54 grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein, 5 grams of sugar. Guess what I made in there? Don't make that face. <laughs> Does the way that you chew is so gross. I got home I think it's because you have a- I have a wide set mouth and a wide set vagina. Yeah. It's actually really good. A lot of the times, spaghettis can be very- Bland. Sweet or bland. This one's the perfect balance of um, sweetness, flavor, everything. The meat actually tastes very, very real. I'm gonna go finish it right now. Oh, I love this one actually. It's like growing on me with like every bite. And I will see y'all eat dinner. What? Sorry, I don't understand. What are you gonna see them? Eat dinner. Eat dinner. Okay, guys. So I have a little confession. It has been a long time since lunch, like hours, and in between. Lunch and dinner, I got so hungry. And I had just woken up from a nap, so I was kind of out of it. I had a little bowl of cereal. Now, it's very healthy cereal. Gasp. It's the original Special K, not sponsored. But it's basically very low in um, sugar. And I know that it's not a part of this challenge, but I was so hungry, I could not help it. So, I just have to tell y'all, be honest. Are you disappointed in me? Totally. Wow. Am I worth those? Totally. <laughs> Oh my, call me worth a second. I love it. <laughs> so for dinner, I, I'm having the Salzberg Stoic. Like I told y'all at the beginning of this video, it's disgusting. basically a ground beef patty. That's what Salisbury steak is with a lot of onion flavors and gravy. Um, yeah. And it comes with the iconic mac and cheese, which I had the other day, but I'm happy to have it again. It's a very tiny portion, like super tiny. Can about this, please? It's a steak. That's a steak. That looks like a piece of my thigh. <laughs> so let's first try it. the mac and cheese, which I had the other day, but. Wow. Tastes like the other day. Oh, oh my God. You just an apple core at me. Mmm. Let's try this. Oh my Salisbury bussy. <laughs> that's disgusting. You know what that looks like? That looks like uh, the apple uh, pie uh, filling. This is not like that. What? 
What type of pie filling looks like this? It's so glazed. Ew. That's disgusting. Ew, that's so disgusting. It's good enough to eat, <laughs> but I'm not enjoying it. Thank God it has the mac and cheese. It isn't horrible. It tastes like a really processed onion-y burger patty. So I'm gonna go eat this, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Guys, I woke up... Uh. <laughs> so hungry. I just drink tons of water, by the way. Um, and I am gonna have another pepperoni French bread pizza for breakfast. Y'all know all the deets on it. I taste tested it before, so I'm just gonna start eating. Mm. It's lunchtime, and I am so hungry. It's like 1.50. I've had a very, very, very busy morning, so I haven't had the chance to have lunch. Quick caca update. I've been pooping regularly every single day. So I have not really had issues besides that first day where I was like a little blocked up. It's been good. This food is a lot heavier um, than I'm Lean Cuisine. So I feel like it does push the caca out a bit faster. You know, my whole is like, Ugh! and an update on how I'm feeling physically. Not bad, a little tired, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. So for lunch, I'm having the fettuccine al freddo. It is literally just pasta and sauce, no meat, which I'm happy about because I don't like their like, pasta chicken now this one is 640 calories so it's pretty high but it's fine with me because i need those calories like i always say 37 grams of fat oh my god by the end of this week my ass is gonna be huge that is a lot of fat um 970 milligrams of sodium 58 carbs 18 grams of protein six grams of sugar okay this is what it looks like the sauce is so milky and creamy looking which is probably why it is so high in fat it looks like legit Alfredo sauce from like a restaurant. Oh my God. Oh my God. So good. It's like Stouffer's mac and cheese, but like Alfredo version, like legit. The texture, the strong cheese flavor, everything. This is, I think, the best frozen Alfredo I've ever had. What the hell? Mm. Oh, oh, daddy! I'll see y'all at dinner. Is it going? Is it going? Huh? Is it going? So, for dinner, I am having the cheddar potato bake. In English, it means the cheddar potato bake. Rosa potato is in cheddar cheese sauce for baking total bread from. The serving size is half of this. So, very tiny for a tiny, skinny little bitch. What is that? It's a cheddar potato bake. Have you not been listening to my accent? I don't understand British. <laughs> Each serving is 250 calories, so that makes this 500 calories. Each serving is 14 grams of fat, that is 28 grams of fat. 430 milligrams of sodium, that's 860. 22 carbs, that's 44. 8 grams of protein. We love this pain. math class. Um, I've had it, like, I think years ago i don't remember what it tastes like at all it looks really good it looks really creamy it looks like a potato version of like mac and cheese basically so that tiny amount is 500 calories yeah hopefully it's delicious and worth it <laughs> and i hope it's filling because it looks tiny and i'm hungry that looks hot so is that like basically just potatoes and cheese oh my god just as i suspected it tastes like mac and cheese but with potatoes instead of noodles and it has a bacon flavor to it too it's very good, but I could do without the bacon flavor. It kind of tastes like that processed bacon, like that fake bacon. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna eat this. I think I'm gonna be hungry afterwards, but it's fine. That's my washing machine. Good morning, guys. Tomorrow is the final day. I am so excited. Let me be honest. Last night I did have a little more cereal, but it's not a big deal. I literally, I needed it for my sanity, for my hunger. I'm sorry, I ate it, okay? But tomorrow is the last day and I'm so excited. Oh my God! Honestly, this week has been so much easier than a Lean Cuisine week, but still I miss real non-frozen food. I miss it so much. So it's breakfast time. Also, I miss like breakfast food. They have no breakfast food. I'm having the classic baked chicken. So it's a baked version of that fried one that I had. It's only 270 calories. That's so low. 13 grams of fat, 880 milligrams of sodium, 
17 grams of carbs, 22 grams of protein. Pretty low in everything besides sodium. This is what it looks like. It looks terrifying, honestly. Y'all, that is scary. That looks, you know what that looks like? What's it called? A gallbladder or <laughs> not a gallbladder. It's the one that's like, wait, what's it called? A spleen? I don't know, one of them. And we have the classic mashed potatoes. Let's try those first because I've had them a thousand times this week. I am getting quite sick of them. Same. Let's cut this chicken. Okay. It looks decently real. It doesn't look as fake as I thought it would, but it does look like a big piece of rubber. So that is just not appetizing. Mmm. Oh. Mm. I thought it would be much worse. It actually tastes pretty real, but it tastes more like Thanksgiving turkey and then chicken. Lucky for me, I love Thanksgiving turkey. So Damn, okay. I'll see y'all at lunch. It's lunch time. I got real hungry. <laughs> Breakfast just didn't fill me. Um, it's 11.24, so it's a bit early, but I'm gonna eat. I'm getting a little bit like more impatient now that the challenge is like almost over. I'm just kind of like ready to be done. I'm just hungry and going crazy. But let me keep my composure for the video because I am a YouTuber after all. For lunch, I'm having the spaghetti with meat testicles. Just kidding, it's meat buns. 420 calories, 11 grams of fat, 70 milligrams of sodium, 57 grams of carbs, and 22 grams of protein. So what it looks like, looks really good, right? It's gonna mix it a bit more. It has six meatballs. It should have seven, cause that's the Lord's number, but I'll let it slide. Mm. It's quite buttery, honestly. <laughs> it has a buttery flavor and texture to the sauce. I don't know how to describe it. It tastes very different than the spaghetti with the meat sauce. Very different. The sauce is a lot tamer. I think I like the other sauce more. This one's very tame. It isn't bad though, like I'm enjoying it. Let's try one of these meat balls. Mmm, quite scrumptious. It actually doesn't taste that processed. It tastes like a pretty legit meatball, not like homemade but pretty legit. I taste the beef, but it doesn't have that greasy beef flavor. It has a good lean beef flavor. I'm enjoying this. This is a great lunch. So I'm gonna go eat this. I'll see y'all at dinner tonight and then tomorrow's the last day. It's time for my second to last Stouffer's dinner. And I just made myself the classic Stouffer's <laughs> so for lasagna with meat and sauce. This is it. Oh, microwaved. Um, I did have this, I think, a couple of months ago um, during a taste test, and I think it slayed me, so I'm ready. Oh, that noise. Mm, it's real good. Stover's um, vegetable lasagna and meat one are both so good and they might look small but they're really heavy and filling it's so good mm. okay. mm. i'm gonna go finish my dinner and tomorrow's the last day hey guys it's breakfast on the last day it's one of those tired mornings where like you don't feel fully awake i'm like half on earth half in narnia right now it has been a good week i have felt tired i have felt foggy but overall the food hasn't had much of an effect on my body. We'll see tomorrow though when I weigh in. If my ass is fatter, I mean, hopefully it is. But it hasn't been that bad. So um, it's the final day. I'm gonna go have breakfast. I'm having the sweetish meatballs. So basically what Ikea workers live off of. <laughs> that and Lincoln powder. It is 510 calories, 24 grams of fat, 970 milligrams of sodium, 47 grams of carbs, 26 grams of protein. Honestly, guys, I am kind of sick of having pasta. There's so many pasta meals in the Stouffer's brand. This is it. There are a lot of meatballs, like a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine meatballs. Holy crap. That's so generous. Let's try the pasta. Very sour, creamy. I'm gonna just spit everywhere. I like it. There's a slight, slight, tiny mushroom flavor, which is never okay in my book. The consistency is very like mac and cheesy once again. Stouffer's really good at sauces. Let's try meatball. Mmm, bitch. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. The meatball's good. For some reason, it isn't as good 
as the spaghetti and meatballs meatballs. <laughs> it has a little bit more of a grease flavor to it, but it's still very good. And I'm gonna go enjoy this meal. So I will see y'all lunch. It's lunch time. I'm sorry about the AC, it's really loud. So for lunch, I am having one of these French bread pizzas. The pepperoni ones were so good. Now this is the deluxe version, AKA like a Supreme version. Sausage, pepperoni, mushrooms, red and green peppers and onions. I baked it so it's super crispy looking. Look at that. Oof. I'm just quickly taking some of these mushrooms off because y'all know I don't eat those. Let's try it. Mmm. So crispy. Iconic. Um, I do like the pepperoni one more just because I'm not the biggest fan of peppers and stuff like that. Like, I'm fine with them, but not the biggest fan on pizza. But this is great. I'm gonna go eat it. I'll see y'all dinner for the last meal. It's the final meal in Stover's week. And I'm so happy. Well, okay, this week hasn't been that bad. I've enjoyed most of it. But like there were points where I did eat some healthy cereal. I did have like moments where I was just like so hungry. But overall, it's been decent. So the final dinner is turkey tetralini. It literally smells like a yeast infection. It smells like a bakery gone when wrong. I, when I get the pores and look at that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Well, you. I know, right? I don't know why. It's still like bread crummy and it just literally smells like a dirty loaf of bread. Like a bread stick that someone shoved up their asshole. So. It is 420 calories, 19 grams of fat, 980 milligrams of sodium, 41 carbs, 21 grams of protein, 6 grams of sugar. It is white meat, turkey, pasta, mushrooms, and celery. And a creamy sauce. So you guys know I hate mushrooms. I'm not a big fan of celery. Um, but I feel like I can work around the mushrooms. Okay, I don't whoever, really see any right now. Wait, sorry. Whoever at Stuffers made this, he just hated food. It has so many gross things all in one dish. Well, no, it isn't like they're gross. It's just gross to me. It's gross to me too. Yeah, well, we just we just don't like the same thing. Celery and mushrooms. Some people Who love mushrooms. That? Some sick twists. Well, I'm feel oh. sad for you. I'll pray for you. Celery, I feel like it's chewing water it's disgusting i hate celery but um it doesn't seem like there's that many in here it looks like mostly pasta so it just that, that it smells so disgusting can i smell it oh my gosh it just smells like someone's mom made it and their mom hates them let's try it if you said that you like this i'm done <laughs> It's not as bad as I thought. It's definitely edible. It isn't amazing, but it's not disgusting. I would compare it to like a cream of chicken soup with noodles in it. Like a Campbell's cream of chicken soup. That's it's, how it tastes. It's, it, looks, it, looks, it looks like it could be a soup. So it isn't <laughs> bad. It's just not good. But I'm definitely going to eat it. I'm not going to waste it. Especially because um, tomorrow I get to have real food again. So I'm like, whatever. Not a big deal. I'm going to eat this and I will see y'all tomorrow for the weigh-in. Let's see if I gained weight or lost weight or stay the same. I don't know. Guys, the challenge is over. Oh, my neck looks skinny. Oh, a chicken bone. I just weighed in. So, y'all, before I weigh myself, I always try to push out a huge turd. Am I right, ladies? Don't we all? Because, hello, Kaka weighs a lot, like more than you think. Like, <laughs> it's heavy, girl. Today is the one day in the week that I literally could not kaka. Nothing would come out of this hole. Like, literally nothing. Nothing was pushing it out. Nothing was happening. So, I had to weigh with the Kaka inside of me. Now, at the start of the week, I think I was 160.4. I think today I am 161.6. Now I do think that's all caca. Like my caca weighs over a pound. I'm not joking, I have big feces. So I'm pretty sure without the caca inside of me, I think that I stayed around the same weight. I don't think I really gained and I don't think that I really lost. I think that my calorie intake was around my normal calorie intake. And so I think that my body just stayed the same weight. And that's just real. Sometimes in these um, week long videos, there's not gonna be a big result, you know? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And by the way, I am gonna do a week of Chipotle very soon. I'm very excited about that. So stay tuned for that probably in like two weeks so I can have like a little break from eating the same thing for a week, you know? Uh, but I love Chipotle, so I'm very excited about that girl. I'll see you on next video. Go watch my last video, by the way, what I do. Oh yes, oh my goodness. I turned a whole canned chicken into tacos. <laughs> it was a lot, so go check it out. I'll see you on next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.